now we'll discuss about online procedure for environmental clearance. How the TAR as well as EC application can be done over this Parivesh portal. Now you know the MOF Ministry of Environment, Forest, Environment, Forest and Climate Change has introduced this uh, uh, Parivesh portal in 2019 only, this year only. Uh, for uh, new any new entry new user or new client should be registered for the first time and this user id along with the password will active for lifetime so for uh, new registration we have to go to parvesh.nic.in and you have to click over this uh, link new registration So after clicking on new registration, you will get uh, this type of uh, window. There is two slots. One is the user agency and other one applicant detail. For the user agency, where it is mentioned that user agency, that uh, user ID will be used for forest clearance. And uh, where it is written applicant detail, uh, it, uh, this user ID or detail will be used for environmental clearance. And you have to fill all these details, first name, middle name, last name, gender. You can see here the red star is there. So this means all mandatory data is there to fill before registration. So after filling this detail and uh, you need to fill one security question and then answer of your choice. And after, in, after entering in the images, the capture soon here, you have to submit, uh, you have to click the submit. And after submission, a successful regist uh, registration, new user will get a registration email on registered email ID as well as notification by SMS because we have filled a uh, mobile number also. So on that mobile number, SMS will come for successful registration and on email there will be a link will be received here it is this type of mail will be received on your registered email ID and uh, password will be given after clicking on that link to activate your account and as you click this uh, link you will get new a notification that uh, to change the password you have to immediate change your password and after completing whole exercise of registration of client, you need to go to this login on the web. So after logging, you will come on this type of web page. So you have to fill first user type means like applicant. If applicant, then uh, please your enter uh, means uh, enter your email ID, user ID, whatever you have filled. Our registration has been done by use, uh, email ID. Then you can use that email id only and the password which is entered are uh, changed before uh, after registration then you have to fill the capture and you have to click now login so after login means there is a change of password this type of window will appear and after log login into the portal you have to click the approvals and after approval you have to click on new proposal because if your proposal is for new project if you have already modified if you have any already existing project over the portal then you can click on the right side it is like uh, update a modified detail of existing proposal if you have the new proposal then you can click on the new proposal only and then this type of uh, this uh, web page will open where uh, initial questionnaire will ask like whether project proponent require prior approval under EPA or under Forest Conservation Act or under Wildlife Protection Act or under CRZ notification 2011. So you have to just answer yes or no. If you will tick on yes then this will ask some other questions like have you submitted EC application in old format? If yes or no, then you can get the next question. If no, then this ask does uh, 
प्रपोजल रिक्वायर अप्रूवल अंडर कैटेगरी ए आर कैटेगरी बी इफ यू क्लिक ऑन बी आर ए वट एवर देन अगेन क्वेश्चन दे आर लाइक वेदर अप्लाइंग फॉर ईसी और टर्म ऑफ रेफरेंस और इन केस ऑफ सी आर जेड देन टी ई सी एंड टॉक बॉन्स सो हियर इज द एग्जाम्पल एंड देन यू नीड टू फिल रिक्वायर्ड डेटा मीन्स फॉर वॉट यू आर अप्लाइंग for uh, if you are applying for tar then for amendment for fresh for extension of validity or transfer of tar of transfer of ec then you have to mention about your proposal now a uh, basic detail about the project its benefit and employment details should be filled over this portal so you can see on the first corner uh, the basic detail of the proponent project name land area detail and benefit in term of social financial and environment and employment detail mean number of employee at your site are in the proposal after filling that detail uh, project detail you will get the notification of your temporary proposal number uh, on clicking continue you will get this type of window to application Here it is form one. Some basic detail has been already filled, so that is pre-filled detail. You cannot modify now. You should start with project profile, name of the project, cost of the project, project sector, applicability, site alternatives, GPS coordinates, and topo seat means study area on topo seat. Any type of other uh, land. policy is there then you can upload the land policy state in which state number of state then uh, if uh, only one state then you have to fill uh, the taluka tehsil district etc and after con save as a draft and continue remember to con uh, to save the draft of your application because if you will not uh, you are not saving the document then it may lost on any technical error something after clicking on continue then we will get the mm, serial number 1 that is about detail of construction operation and decommissioning of the project as you filled your uh, prepared your word format of this form one then you have to reply over here one by one manually yes or no first you have to just mention this impact will be or not that means yes or no then you have to fill the responses in the column so this is the number 1 and then uh, we have to fill number 2 like use of natural resources for the construction in similar way chap number 3 detail of substances material which is harmful to the human health then detail of generation of waste hazardous waste noise and vibration land and water from the Uh, from the your project then risk then cumulative impact and finally on submission of nine number you will get a notification that is proposal number in the form of like this uh, proposal has been submitted from gujarat region for uh, your project site is located in gujarat then you will get the notification proposal number like ia for impact authority impact assessment gj for gujarat proposal number 1 2 3 for whatever type of and the last one is year so now you will you have completed your tar application successfully after clicking on continue you will get a notification email alert that that is in the form of acknowledgement for from monitoring cell for your proposal has been submitted for the tar application